Hi folks, Marty here. Today we're going to do a little quick sketch just using a 4B pencil. And just before we get going here, just thanks to all those who have uh, subscribed to the channel and liked and even left a comment. Uh, all these things have been very encouraging and very helpful. And if you haven't done that, uh, that would be great if you could. So here we go, folks. I'm going to do a little quick landscape. And what we're going to do is throw in one of the little colleges. So what I want to do is establish some sort of a horizon. So that'll be the mid area. And what I'm going to do is just going to chuck in a wee, a wee cottage here. And this could be any kind of college at all. You can just just make it make up one out of your own imagination, even you know. And then we'll just put that about there. That's this little chap lives. And then we'll just do some little fields and stuff behind him. And then maybe maybe a little hill behind here. Which is kind of handy in the winter. It means it gives them a wee bit of a wee bit of shelter from those harsh winds. This could be absolutely anywhere. Okay, so I've established the little cottage, and then what we'll do is we'll have we'll have a, maybe a little road that kind of comes out of that, and then. There's a little fail just in front of this little house. So it's basically just a wee quick sk sketch. Don't be taking too too long with this. And then maybe there's some kind of uh, mounds of grass and stuff at the end of these here. And this is probably what they would use to Keep the cows in and whatnot. About run off like that. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then maybe Okay, and then we'll take this middle field out here. And maybe this will join um a larger kind of hill or could even be a bit of a mountain or whatever on the distance there and then let's pop in something in the far distance here could be another mountain and we'll maybe have some cloud coming down here so I'm just I'm just quickly sketching in the basics here and then we'll, we'll kind of make that a bit of a sort of a grass mound at the end here. And then have maybe some tractor marks and so on. Like that. Um, okay, and then maybe some bits of grass and those fields rising up to meet the mountains. And then that be a bit of a more field and grass behind there. And, and then maybe we'll have, what about a wee washing line with the laundry hanging up? And then that could be a peat stack just beside here. So in those winter months it's a lot easier to get at. Okay, and then... So that's the basics of our sketch. Okay, so... 
what we could do now is we could just maybe do, drop in some areas of shading. Um, I'm thinking if the light comes from a sand, then the shadow is going to be cast here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just drop in a wee bit of shading here. And I'm just turning the pencil on its side. And how you hold the pencil is very key and important to sketching. Uh, when you want to do really fine detailed stuff, you want to choke up on the pencil like that. And and if you want to keep it loose, come back up it like this. And if you want to vary your shading strokes and mark making, you can hold it like this and just use the side of the pencil. Just kind of rotating it. Okay, and then um, these grass mounds, if you remember here. We drop in a wee bit of shading here. So I'm going to put Mr. Smiley up here. And we're going to call him Bert Smiley. That's a good name for a, for a sunshine, Bert Smiley. So we'll keep him here. And that reminds us that the light is coming this direction and the shadow falling on this side here. Okay, so that would mean that you're going to have shading coming down this side of that grass minder. And what about sticking on a wee tree? Okay, we'll pop one in here. It's almost this tree just looks in on the farm there. And obviously the shadow is going to be falling on this side and then it's going to be going across the road. It's always good to have a wee bit of shadow going across the road. I just find it just helps the bridge between the what's going on here. And then we'll do a wee bit of shading up the side of that tree there. And then I'm looking and seeing if there's anything else I want to pop in here. Maybe some trees in here. Just behind that little cottage. Like that. And maybe a few just around here. And what about a few sheep? We haven't done any sheep in a while. Pointing this way. With its wee head peeking round for a wee look to see what's going on. And then a wee bit of shadow. There you go, starting to come together. Um so what we need now is a few a few wonky fence posts. And you don't want these perfectly straight, you want them to look like they've been there for a lot of years and uh, they're probably in need of repair and replacement. And then some, some wee bits of wire dangling like that. And then maybe we'll have one over here. that the light is on one side and the shadow is dropping down the other here. So there you go, it's coming on. Um, let me turn to those trees a wee bit more.
what I find is, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people I know would, um, they love the idea of sketching. Um, and I think it's because in some respect, sketching may seem the e easiest part of the process. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not really. It's, if you sketch the right way for a watercolor, for a painting, and you just think smart about it, um, you can make the whole painting process so much easier. Uh, so what's, that's what I'm going to attempt to do at the end of this. I'm going to just work as fast as I can. Show you how you can get your sketch to this stage here. And then just by persevering an extra five minutes at the end, you can really make a lovely wee picture out of it. Maybe drop an OE. Oh, are we sheep over here? They don't want to be very sophisticated, you know. Just keep them very simple, and it's really just the impression, you know. And then the shadow falling that way. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a wee bit of shading on that. So you're just varying the the, the stroke of your pencil, really. Don't be digging in too hard. Um, this is a 4B pencil. So it's a nice, nice soft lead. Um, but, and what that means is um, I can rub it out if I want to, if something just doesn't work right. Um, and what about a wee bicycle just beside here? Or something. Okay, it's coming on. And then we'll just put a bit of shading along this mid ground here. And then I'm just gonna take that tree on up a bit. And then just put a wee bit of Shading in and out of this here, ro roadside, mound. I'm not sure what the proper term is for this or name. Um, any farmers among you there? I don't know there there are um, the follow the channel, and you've been sending me your lovely paintings, and it's really just great to see the progress you've been making. Um, if you know what these are called, if there's any specific name for them, it'd be good to know. Okay, and then we'll just um, try and tidy that up a bit here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to maybe pop in a few clouds here and there. In fact, you know what? I think I'll put some trees on that as if it's the top of a hill. And then, and that could probably be a distant mountain even behind that again. So I'm pushing that back even more. And what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this here and just thinking, get a wee bit more shadow at this side of the tree. And when I knock this in with the paint later on, it'll all add to the the shadow and shading. Save me a wee bit of work. Maybe put a wee bit more in here. Okay. I think maybe another wee tree in here, maybe. I'm just making this up as I go along here. See how easy it is? There's not a lot to it. I mean, you've all been used to looking at trees in the country and stuff, you know, things you've done all your life. And it's like music. It's, um, some people are born with a good sense of pitch and hearing, and I think it helps them. But most people, um, have to develop their sense of hearing, how they hear music, and that's what uh, makes the difference. Um, art is the same. It's basically the art of seeing. It's really, really looking at the landscape, looking at what's around you, and, and just appreciating how uh, light and shadow work together. 
and um, value, darks and lights, and, and when you start to develop that, um, it definitely, when you're out and about, you just see things differently. Okay. I think we'll have a bit of a picture here now. So what I'm going to do now, just if you can just hang on there five more minutes and we're just going to show you how to quickly knock this in. I'm going to quickly establish where my clouds are going to be. And that's going to be the shadow around this area here. Okay, I don't want to go too mad with that. And what we're going to do, I've got some colour mixed up already. And I'm going to just use my, my wee mop brush here. I'm going to use three colours today. So hang in with me there and we'll just see how quickly we can do this. So folks, here's the bit you've been waiting for. I'm going to do the big reveal now. And there you have it folks, there's our wee sketch that uh, we've been able to turn into a painting. And folks, that's it for today. Um, thank you for um, spending this time with me. And it's always great to hear back from you all. And until next week, just keep painting, keep them brushes going, and I'll see you all soon. So for now, Marty out. <laughs>